Hello and welcome. So I've decided to run some more kind of tips and tricks for some of the tools that I use because I know a lot of my clients, a lot of my network are now starting to use tools like Descript and Social B. And I just want to share some of the reasons why I use them and um, some of the really easy benefits of working with those platforms and some of the quick wins that you can get out from working with them as well. So uh, filler words and ledgers are some of the biggest problems that most people face. If you're putting captions up on a screen, if you're putting subtitles out there, or actually even if you're just producing a podcast, the last thing somebody wants to listen to is your brain farting <laughs> while you're trying to make sense of something fairly complex or you're thinking of the next thing that you want to say. So when I talk filler words, I'm talking ums and ers and repetitions of words where we're kind of ledging our brain a bit until we've thought about what it is that we actually want to say. Descript particularly, and a few of the other tools now as well, have a really neat capability where they can remove those filler words at the click of a button. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I've got an example video right here. Um, the example I've got is you just click on actions, remove filler words, and you can see here it's highlighted all of the filler words in this sample. So the 123 in a 25 minute video is pretty good going, if I'm fair. Um, I regularly get people with three or 400 filler words in 15 minutes. So if you're seeing those sorts of numbers, don't panic like we all do it. Um, two things to consider here. If you're doing a podcast and it's audio only, you can just delete them. So you see the button set here, delete. You can just click remove all. It will delete the audio and the video associated with those words on the screen. Brilliant. You won't really notice that in your podcast. In fact, it'll make it much more punchier, shorter, and more engaging as, as, as a listener. If you are planning on using the video, however, you can do one or two things. You can either not take it out for the audio version or create a new project and have the audio version different um, so that you just delete them for the audio version. But for the video version, you might want to remove from transcript and leave them in. Now, the reason I say that is if you go around deleting 123 minor bits of text from um, a video, what you're likely to see is a lot of jumping about. Depends very much on how animated your host is or your guest is. If you're more or less staying still and you're in this position and you're talking like this a lot, then you're going to be absolutely fine. You can probably just delete them. But if you're very um, articulated and you're moving about a lot like this and you've, you know, all these sorts of things, then you're going to cause yourself some real problems because you're going to look like a Crime Stoppers video. So, Remove from transcript allows you to just get rid of these by removing the captions. So you can see there, the words have gone. So if I apply a template, you can see that where we did have some filler words, they've now been deleted. So it looks much more professional. And let's be honest, when people are watching things on social media, nine times out of 10, they watch it on their mobile with the sound off. So it's very important to have those captions on there. And I'd argue it's more important to remove those filler words from the transcript than it is to get rid of them altogether. Now, what you might want to do though on occasion is you might decide that actually I want to delete this whole section here because that was all filler words, even with a video. So you'll see it come up. You saw the jump there, right? Like it's only a slight jump because I'm not moving about a lot. There you go, right. How do we get rid of that jump? Go up the timeline down here. So you've got your timeline. You can make it bigger to, to edit on the timeline. You've got this tiny little white dot here. If you drag it forwards, it fades forwards. If you drag it backwards, it does this marvelous cross fade. Drag it to about half a second, 0.5 seconds, and leave it there. Now let's watch this again. Management. Um, very much for watching. There was a very slight blur, but it wasn't jarring to the eyes. That's the important thing for this. So if you are going to delete filler words manually or you're going to delete them all together, you need to go back through all of the cuts and you can identify those um, in your... So let me delete something else. You can identify them by this line here. You can see that line there on the timeline. So if I zoom out, you can see the two lines there with the, with the dots. Um, so you have to go through all of those and make sure you cross-fade over the ones that are needed. You might not need it on all of them, but you will need it on some of them, especially if people are waving their hands around or moving their head about, turning side to side. Very important. 
but more importantly, you can just remove them from the transcript, which is a brilliant feature. It saves people so much time. I can't stress to you enough how painful it is to edit video properly without that feature. So that's remove filler words from Descript. That's one of the reasons why I use Descript. If you want to know more about Descript, it is in the comments below. Uh, have a great week.